Hi guys, welcome to our second YouTube video. Today we're in our Glasgow flagship store. We're going to be giving you a tour and showing you what we offer in store. If you missed our first video of our Manchester store opening, the link is going to be in the description below to check it out. So firstly, we're going to start with the adult shoe section. The wall behind us here has almost 200 different styles. So there's a wee bit to get through. After that, we'll pop over to our kids section. Afterwards, we'll pop over to the clothing section and then we can show you a little bit of behind the scenes. First of all, this is our Yeezy wall. We definitely feel as if, in Scotland anyway, that Yeezys are one of the most popular shoes here by far. Obviously we focus on 350s, 500s and 700s. The slides and the foam runners have become very popular over the last year or so, so we obviously can't miss them out. What's your favourite then? Moon rocks. Ones I've got on the now. So they released in 2015. 2015, mate. So Moonrock was third release. Is it Turtle Dove, Pirate Black, Moonrock? That's definitely one of the best. So if we quickly start to move around, we focus predominantly here on dunks. As you will all know, dunks are so popular now in our culture. I think definitely because I think they're quite casual, but also really, really smart with jeans as well. My lighter option would probably be the two-tone grey or the white grey, which is just released a few weeks ago. That's probably the lighter option. I really like Sakai's from the last video. That was a poor choice, you said. <laughs> <laughs> so the new Night Dunk 85s, they're quite cool as well. It is like a Sakai type of vibe with the two ticks. So I just like things a wee bit, wee bit different. And obviously, the black and white. The old faithful man. <sighs> nice. So, moving on. As well as the dunks, we also go into a little bit of New Balance. Again, when I said earlier about Yeezy's being popular in Glasgow alone, New Balance seems to be really popular in Manchester and Edinburgh as well. So we tend to focus our New Balance stock in other stores just to see, see how the demand is. As well as the New Balance and the dunks on this wall, we've got a little selection of Sakai's. They basically sell far too quick usually for us to even keep them on the shelf. Just at the end of this wall here, we've probably only got about four or five pairs. Again, we struggle to keep them. Air Max 95s or 110s are huge in Glasgow, so we... 95s. <laughs> we think Ryan 95s? No, we, 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 we do like them, but I think we like to only focus on ones that are a little bit harder to get. And then onto the last wall, we've got our Jordan wall. So we basically mix this up between Jordan 1 lows, Jordan 1 mids, highs, Jordan 1 highs, Jordan 4s. And that's about it. Again, we really, really focus on stocking a wall that people are interested in and not just stocking stuff that might sit there for years. So Jordan 1s, Jordan 4s, we feel predominantly are the style in Glasgow. Jordan 6s and stuff again, maybe coming in a little bit. There's been a few collabs, Travis Scott, etc. But again, we don't really get asked for them too much. So we tend not to put them on the wall. But that doesn't mean we can't get them. We can source anything in as well, if anyone was needing a specific pair. What's your favourite in Jordan 4? Red... Uh, red Thunders, but I don't think there's any left. But if I had to pick one on that wall, then now probably... Black Canvas. I'm definitely the same. All but black, can I go wrong? I, but again, I took a pair last know, week. It's hard. Also during the week, so we were planning on doing a video of the Glasgow tour and we were thinking how to change it up a little bit. So all through the week, this week, we were asking a few clients some questions that they would like answered from us. First question. Do you have the questions there? You can go ahead with that one, I was 13 or something. So we started roughly, I think it was 20, 2014, 2015. So I would have been about 17, 18. So if you don't already know, I'm also an identical twin. So when we were about 17 or 18, that was about 2014 or 2015, that the Harachis became a huge thing again in Glasgow. And we, Obviously, everybody loved them at the time. They to get and we started kind of having a little search online, couldn't find anything. The shops in Glasgow couldn't find anything. So, kind of, I don't, I don't know what it was, but you started to like the feeling that you wanted something, you couldn't get it. So, that chase, 
originally made us fall in love with in terms of the exclusive shoes. I'm trying to think what was next. So, 2014-2015, we must have been in sixth year in school. And I think we were just sitting, sitting in English in fifth year, probably. And it was me, David, my twin brother, and another boy, Ben, give you a shout out, because he always wants one. And we, I, I don't know what it was, we were just talking about what we would like to do after school. And somehow, I don't know, we came up with the name Exceed. And at that point in time, that's when Harachis were becoming a thing. So that was probably the, the beginning of starting to find exclusive shoes. In regards to like selling them, we, I think it was really early days, but we'd started an Instagram page. And again, never had any traction at all. And we had about three or four pairs of shoes to sell. And one of my first customers at the time was one of my best friends, Lee. And he took a pair of Prestos. And after that, we just started kind of one by one, selling through different shoes that we had. Although we were still operating from the house in the garage, Joseph came in to work with us just before COVID started. So at that point in time, we'd, we'd been established in Glasgow. I'd, I'd been doing local meets for around four or five years and developing some amount of clients over all over Glasgow. I was out every single night, dropping off shoes in every area of Glasgow. Might have seemed a wee bit dodgy for mum and dad at the time, dropping shoes off <laughs> everywhere late at night, but we got there and all of our customers were brilliant with us. So. That then took us into being able to create yes. a business that was consistent, but also sustainable going into COVID. We were a wee bit, no, would you say we were frightened or a wee bit kind of no, I think wary honestly, about it? everybody was just so uncertain about what was going to happen, but during COVID, like online, everybody, nobody was off their phones. Everybody was online shopping and it was just like constant inquiries. Probably. So I think although we, we developed a, like a local clientele throughout Glasgow, COVID allowed us to boost ourselves online with a lot of people shopping online a bit more, looking at Instagram all day. And we came up with the, the plan of opening a shop just probably about a year into COVID. Just took ages obviously to look for like a, a space that was going to work, the amount of units that we'd viewed to try and find what we wanted to do with it was insane. But I think we, had, we definitely had a, we had a strong idea in our head that we wanted a, a space big enough to create an experience in store, but also at the same time, given that we were a small business at the time, not take something on that would be unrealistic and probably hard to sustain. Given things didn't go to plan coming out of COVID, but thankfully through a lot of hard work and a little bit of luck as well that we have we've managed to get the Glasgow store open. We actually, year anniversary last week, 20th of November we opened last year. And now, a year later, we've, we've got three shops. Right, so now we're going to be heading over to the kids section. It's a major walk. We've got, we've got over, I don't know, what would you say, 40 to 50 different styles? Obviously with the kids stuff. Yeah, there's a few different. Which people think that we're lying to them every day that they come in, but the so kids Yeezys are actually harder to get than the adult Yeezys, and they're also more expensive. So in terms of the models on the wall, we've just got a bit of everything to be honest, ranging from Jordan 4s, Yeezys, Jordan 1s, Highs. In terms of popularity with the kids, everybody's into a little bit of everything for the wee ones. A lot of people love the Yeezys, but at the same time, they can be a wee bit expensive. The Jordans offer a kind of cheaper, Jordans or Dunks offer a cheaper alternative. And the kids obviously, when it comes round to summer, all the foam runners are perfect. So, second question, I think obviously over the last year, we never thought we'd probably be in the position we are now. Everything's moved a bit quick, but it's yeah. obviously, it's been good. It's good to push yourself as well. Coming into January time, I think everybody will sit down and we can assess what's going to happen next. Obviously, we do have plans, big plans for next year that are a little bit of a secret just now, but soon. <laughs> nah, a few weeks, yeah. But I think we just want to be able to go into next year, increase the offering for everybody that's coming in, so ultimately they're getting the best experience possible. And Definitely. There's millions of different stuff that they can choose from. Obviously within the shop, we, we offer 
a huge range of shoes. The clothing side of it, that we're going into in a little bit, we know that we can offer a little bit more. We have everything that we need to have at the minute, but I think going forward, there's huge potential for a level up in clothing. Yeah, do you want to Aye. In terms of clothing, obviously we've just got different kind of bits and bobs. Do we focus on, well, predominant, pred predominantly right now? Essentials. Do you want to? No, just keep going. Yeah. Essentials. Keeping it? Are you keeping it? Uh, essentials Start for these. Especially with the weather in Glasgow winter time, so... But essentials has been a huge thing over the last few years. Again, everybody knows it. And now on the SS22. 22. We obviously keep with the trend, things that are the most popular in culture in general, so it's something that we definitely need to have in the, in the shop. If we move up a wee bit, we also focus on Drew House. The blues and stuff work a wee bit better in Scotland, but the lighter t-shirts, which Drew is best known for, Probably a little bit summery in it. Oh, of course. Plus a lot of the kind of rare drop ones, like that one there. Ice cream truck. It's nice, I've got that one as well. Nightmare to find. Nightmare. So as well as the Drew, we've also, oh well, that's one of Travis Scott Fragment hoodies, which is nice. Again, not a lot of people seen it, but when it's on, pops. He's weird for that one. I know, I don't, I like that as well. <laughs> we stop what I like. Uh, so we've got some Travis Scott, some more Drew House t-shirts here. So we also have some Forbes stuff. So Josh is our good friend from next door as well in Forbes. So we have some of the bombers, hoodies, joggies, body warmers and t-shirts. So definitely check that out. And then we move on to some of our Exceed t-shirts. So we, well not recently, but we've revamped and restocked our blank Exceed t-shirts which are perfect for a layer under a hoodie, or just in general, if you're just looking for a blank t-shirt, that's perfect with a pair of jeans. Took his ages to master the neck, right mm. neck. Right, what, nine, 10 samples at least. Yeah, at least. And then after that, and we move into on just a little bit of the Supreme stuff and the hoodies. Right, we can pop in here this invisible door. This is a staff room. I tidied everything the day, but, no, it's a wee bit, it's a wee bit messy, mate. <laughs> no, You've not tidied that. everything. So that's just... That's a usually cover the McDonald's in Kyle's it? actually put his shaver on, on charger. Charge. And I tidied everything up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we've yes, got just back. staff room somewhere for everybody to chill if they want a wee break. And then we've got a toilet there as well. I don't get a break, but... Never take a break. Slave labour. So round here is... This, well, this was really an area that we were wanting to focus on and wanted to make it feel private at the same time as open. So if you come into the store, you want to show them down there, and you're having a little look at the shoes, we wanted it to feel like a museum essentially, so we never put any seating anywhere to open the space up. But at the same time, we wanted people who wanted to try shoes on to have a little private space. You couldn't see me if you were down there and just plenty of space to try stuff on. A lot of stores worldwide, well collectively, probably don't let people try shoes on, but I think given that we're a shoe, shoe shop and focus on the end customer as much as, well, as, much as we possibly can do, it, it's crucial that you let them try a pair of shoes on. If you're selling a pair of shoes and not letting them try it on or they're taking it away, Hard it's to judge probably, it. probably just going to come back again. So aye, it's, it's a, it's it's a just good a, It's a good, good experience attempt. as well. It's the whole thing from start to finish and just letting people enjoy being in, trying on the shoes and... I think that the experience in the shop is a huge thing for us. We want people who come in to feel valued, want to come back again uh, and again make friends through the, through the process. Well, well, yeah. Yes. Last question that everybody asks every day when they come in is about the neon setting. Where did that idea come from? Uh, see, to be honest, it was a few, a few years ago, two years, It was years. never, I always remember we, I think it was two years ago, but Christmas, Christmas time. time. We they wanted, had, to, get, me, we wanted they, to get oh. cards, we wanted to get cards made for Christmas, we wanted to personalise the Christmas gift boxes. Awesome. They had me hand so, wrapping shoes every day. David had, David had him wrap them like 50, every day, 50 boxes 50 or something like that. And all day long, just. <laughs> it was like we wee tiny stickers as well, but it took him hours and it probably wasn't even needed. But 
but the the quote probably came from us looking to personalise a gift when opening it at Christmas and I don't know, make it feel a wee bit more special and have again something behind the brand and something that people can remember us by. Bring us round to our check out area. So again we wanted it to feel just nice and again welcoming when you're coming up to it. It is a little minimal but I think that's all it needs. The neon sign that we put in I think pops really well. The lighting in inside there is a little bit darker so it kind of gives a focus on exceed and I think it makes you want to walk up to it. You're going through the back. Aye, if you want to Nobody's ever really seen that, this. So there's, sh there's shoes everywhere in them. here, so... We just get a delivery the day as well. So, in terms of being in here, it's normally set up, there's usually normally me and Kyle that's here. Okay, you hiding in the back yet? <laughs> so, this is Kyle's desk. He's got the computer and the laptop set up for all the deliveries, essentially. This whole... This is basically split up, so now that we've got Edinburgh, Manchester and Glasgow and especially going into the next couple of weeks, we need to try and see what, for us, like, only we understand, but it's like, we've got maybe best sellers in different shops, so when stuff's coming in, everything, obviously, as you could imagine, needs to be checked, making sure that the right sizes, and then it needs to be put to, obviously, Glasgow, Edinburgh or Manchester. So essentially that's us finished our tour and Probably showed you what most things, eh? Showed you what we wanted to show you. So hopefully you're happy with it and you enjoyed it. No, so tonight we kinda done things a wee bit different. Know that the last time it was kinda chopped and changing, but there was we were so busy last time that we had to cut and start again a wee bit later on and then back again and we didn't know what was happening next for the workers, but tonight we've made it really kinda raw and just kinda went through the full thing without any cuts or edits or changes. It probably shows still that we're a, a wee bit nervous, but I'm sure we're getting there and we're getting a wee bit we'll better get eventually. It still feels weird, but we've been kind of enjoying it at the same time, giving people a wee bit more information into how we started, a wee bit of behind the scenes, and a wee bit of how we are as people and how relaxed and chilled we are and normal at the same time. And I think going forward, it will be, it will be brilliant to show you our journey over the next year and and beyond. Fingers crossed. But no, we've definitely we've got a few videos in mind for going forward. We've got a few plans. What do you want to do next? Me and Ryan have got a. Well, I don't know. nobody wants to see you go to the gym. Nobody. All right then. Sneaker reviews. Sneaker reviews, but no, we've got an idea. Uh, we've got an idea for. Basically just a day in the life of a, a Edinburgh run. I'm usually, what time are you on now? Half nine. I'm usually in Edinburgh now, taking stock through whilst... I think it would be good as well. day to chill out, but... I think it would also be good showing some, some more of the staff as well. So we've got 14, 15 people involved 14. in Exceed just now. We'll add, well, 16, 17, Ryan and Shiv. Nah, Sorry, Paul, 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 Luke. Paul, Luke as well. 80, so. We'll just say 20. So there's a lot of people involved in this and a lot of people behind the scenes that make everything happen, Couldn't which we really appreciate. Them. Definitely. Uh, and I think it would be good to see everybody, even the girls in Edinburgh, and our brother David, my twin, who is in Manchester working as well full time, who is hiding. Because he would have gave a good insight today as well about how we started and a wee bit more on that. He wasn't really up for it, was he, at all? He's still hiding. Definitely. But no, so we'll definitely get obviously plans for our future videos and that that hopefully we'll be able to get sorted and you'll be able to see soon. But hopefully you enjoyed the video today and if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel below. See everybody usually do like, subscribe, are you going to pop that there? Pop whatever you want, point you want. There. <laughs> no, so definitely we appreciate everybody watching and hopefully you enjoy the videos. Again, I'm sure it will get better over time, but it's a start for sure.